Hello and uh, welcome to this Urban Entrepreneurship Practicum mini lecture uh, regarding the business opportunity presentation. In this uh, mini lecture we discuss and explore the business opportunity presentation which is a key tool for pitching your business venture to colleagues or potential partners potential investors, employees, customers, and other interested parties. So learning objectives. Uh, there are basically two key learning objectives here. One is to for you to know the purpose and how to apply uh, the business opportunity presentation, which we also call a pitch. Uh, the other key objective and the specific objective here is to construct and deliver a presentation that presents your urban entrepreneur partner business opportunity in the best possible light. So uh, we've talked about this before but what is pitching? Pitching is the art of gaining agreement. And why do we pitch? Uh, we give a pitch to attract investment or to recruit team members and employees, or to acquire partners, uh, or to sell a product. Uh, these are some of the reasons why we craft a business pitch. So we're talking today again about the business opportunity presentation, uh, which again is often called uh, the pitch deck. Uh, so the purpose of the business opportunity presentation in general is to stimulate interest in an engagement with uh, a business opportunity that your venture is pursuing. Uh, specifically in this case uh, the purpose of your presentation is to present a compelling case for your urban entrepreneur partners business opportunity including your proposed improvements. Now in providing this presentation and giving this presentation, one of the key things, if not the key thing, is that you want to be interesting and compelling. Uh, so to that end, don't just recite bullet points. Uh, tell a story. Uh, don't be pedestrian in the presentation. So you don't want to label slides as the problem or the solution uh, or you know the topic errors. You want to present these topic errors areas and just give the information without labeling it uh, with the product category. Um, so uh, uh, you also want to uh, use pictures and graphics to illustrate the story. And uh, you, overall you want to make the story interesting and informative and engaging. So be clear, be convincing, be confident. And uh, since this is a team presentation, you want to give a coordinated team performance. So I'm going to go over the information that should be contained in your presentation. But keep in mind that these slides I'm going to show are not the format for your presentation. They're merely a high-level outline to indicate the information that needs to be contained in your presentation. So we start with the introduction. The introduction should include an engaging graphic. It should give the venture name, the Urban Entrepreneur Partner venture name. It should include a tagline that you come up with that gives a brief, punchy uh, promotion of the business. It should include the uh, your team member names. Uh, you are the people presenting this, giving this presentation. So you are the ones who are on the introduction. You'll talk about the uh, Urban Entrepreneur Partner team later in the presentation. Uh, you want to include the date and uh, some way for someone to follow up with you. Uh, contact email is fine. So you want to start out indicating uh, the problem that this uh, business is seeking to solve. What are the current undesirable conditions? 
who's affected by these conditions? Uh, why uh, is uh, this problem important? Why does it need to be solved? And uh, what's the vision of the future? What are the future desirable conditions that this business is attempting to bring about? Next, you want to describe the solution, and the solution is the product or service that this business is, is uh, providing. So who is the product uh, aimed at serving? In other words, who are the key customer segments? Uh, what are the key product benefits or advantages? In other words, value propositions uh, for each customer segment. And what are the key uh, product or service features that uh, enable it to uh, provide those benefits or advantages. Next you want to discuss the capabilities of the Urban Entrepreneur Partner to give the audience uh, the impression that this uh, uh, business, the, the people who run this business, are capable. So what are the special resources or capabilities uh, that this business possesses uh, in terms of technology, in terms of staff experience, in terms of expertise, in terms of market knowledge, those kinds of things. What are the special capabilities uh, of this uh, business? Then you want to discuss the business model. How does the business work? How does it make money? How much money can it make? And here you might want to give a, a very brief example uh, of a customer interaction with the business, a, a brief case study. Next, you want to address the industry and the market. What industry is uh, this business addressing? And what are some of the key industry characteristics? Uh, what market is the business pursuing? Uh, and uh, what is the market type? Is this an existing market? Uh, is the business trying to segment an existing market? Is it trying to create a new market? Uh, what is the market stage is this early is it uh, a growth stage is it mature is it declining and uh, how big is the opportunity that this business is addressing how big in dollars is the opportunity the business is addressing next we want to talk about the market strategy how does the business promote its product uh, what is the pricing strategy how do the customers buy the product? How do they get the product? And uh, how does the business deal with market forces like competition, substitutions, supplier power, buyer power? Here's where we talk about the Urban Entrepreneur Partner Team. So who are the key team members and what are their roles? Uh, what key openings exist at the uh, uh, urban entrepreneur partner business. In other words, what additional team members might they need and what roles would they play? And then who are the key advisors or other external uh, uh, members of this team that help uh, this business execute? So that's a summary of the team. Next topic is lessons learned. What did you learn from uh, customer discovery and how did what you learn affect your understanding of the business and the opportunity uh, here you might want to give a few revealing brief quotes uh, from the interviews next you want to talk about your proposed business model improvements now you've already described the business model which includes your uh, improvement. So this is just a summary of how you went about improving uh, this business. So first you want to indicate what your overall business improvement objective or objectives were uh, and, and how you arrived at those objectives. Were they driven by your urban entrepreneur partner? Did they come from your marketplace, uh, your customer input? Uh, did they come from market research or your own ideas? Uh, so uh, what are the business improvement objectives and how did you come up with them? Uh, 
And then you want to indicate uh, uh, your uh, business and what your business improvements were, your business model improvements were. And uh, uh, for each proposed business model improvement, what information that you gathered drove that improvement? In other words, where did that come from? What was the source of the information? Uh, was it customer discovery? Uh, did it come from your urban entrepreneur partner? Again, did it come from research? Um, and what's the impact? What do you think the impact of your proposed improvements will be in terms of the overall business improvement objectives that you indicated uh, above? The next topic is the next steps. Uh, what, where does the business go from here? What's required for the company to implement the changes that you propose? Is it, is it going to take money, people, technology, time? Over what time frame can the improvements be implemented? Uh, what's the organizational and financial impact of these changes? And uh, you might want to indicate how your urban entrepreneur partner feels about the changes that you are proposing. So in closing the presentation you definitely want to give thanks to uh, your urban entrepreneur partner. You want to acknowledge uh, anyone else who uh, uh, helped you uh, uh, execute, helped you uh, develop this project and this uh, presentation and uh, you want to repeat the contact information that you provided on the first slide. So that's the information content of the presentation and uh, in terms of uh, grading the presentation the the scoring criteria goes right along with the topics that we talked about in this business opportunity presentation so uh, you can get an idea of uh, how much each of the topics is worth. And then there's an, a category for overall quality uh, that's uh, based on uh, the opinion of your peers and the uh, guest panel that we have at the final presentation. And as far as how the guest panel uh, is judging the presentation, uh, they have uh, uh, five different criteria. They're looking at clear and compelling description of the product or need, the solution and benefits, uh, how the business works, uh, your ideas for improving the business, and your quality of your presentation, your teamwork, your delivery. Uh, I'm not asking the, uh, your peers and the panel to go over all the detailed uh, uh, criteria that I can look at because I have the benefit of reviewing the recording <laughs> after the presentations and I can look at things in a lot more detail but in terms of a live uh, scoring uh, these are the categories that uh, you as a peer of the presenter or your peers uh, and the guest panel these are the categories uh, and the scoring criteria that uh, they will use. So uh, that's it for the business opportunity presentation. Uh, if you have any questions about this uh, or any of the other uh, related material, feel free to reach out and I look forward to seeing some great presentations uh, at the end of the course.